2015 ended in defeat for Southampton under-21s as they lost out by three goals to one to a strong Man City side at the Etihad campus. The Saints sat three points above City going into the game and despite a valiant second half effort saw City close the gap thanks to a clinical attacking edge. Keeper Paolo Gazzaniga started for the first team on Saturday so he was the only change as he made way for Harry Lewis in goal, the 17 year old making his debut at under 21 level. Matt Target scored in his last appearance against Tottenham last week and he started at left back alongside Oli Cook, Will Wood and captain Dominic Gape in the back four. Armani Little and Harrison Reed started in central midfield. Behind the attacking midfield force of Sam McQueen, Jake Heskiff and Josh Sims. And under 21 top scorer Ryan Seeger leads the line as he starts up top as the lone striker. Southampton were full of confidence following last week's result and started brightly. Sam McQueen whipped a dangerous cross into the city box which was half cleared before being hit just over the crossbar. Manchester City named a strong side for the game with first team as Patrick Roberts and Lecce Iheanacho both getting run outs and both of them were involved in City's first. Iheanacho lay in the ball off for Bursant Salina to curl past Lewis and give City the lead with only 12 minutes gone. Having scored directly from a free kick this time last week, Matt Target fancied his chances again. The left back hitting a powerful free kick towards the City goal, but keeper Angus Gunn made a fantastic save to be equal to it. Kelechi Iheanacho set up the first goal and he showed calm and composure again to set up City's second. The striker set up David Falpaola to double City's lead as he slotted home from close range. The Saints didn't sit back and went searching for a goal themselves. Sam McQueen's shot from range came after some brilliant pass and move play by the Saints, but Gunn managed to collect the ball upon his second attempt. Southampton continued to have chances and felt they were getting closer. Jake Heskiff sent a lovely pass to Seager, but City defender Pablo Maffeo did exceptionally well to get back and keep City's two-goal advantage intact. Seager was involved again moments later, linking up with Armani Little on the edge of the box before seeing a shot deflected narrowly over the City goal. That corner proved to be crucial. A dangerous and swinging corner from target was cleared out to Harrison Reed in the box, who was sent sprawling as he tried to get his shot away. The resulting penalty was neatly tucked away by Seager, scoring his sixth goal of the season and giving Southampton a lifeline just before half time. Southampton came straight out of the blocks for the second half and were denied an equaliser by a fantastic display by the City keeper. Gunn doing well to keep Heskiff's curling shot out of his goal. Just shy of the hour mark, Ryan Seeger had the ball in the net again. Josh Sims doing well to set up the young striker who finished well but his effort was ruled out for offside. Up the other end, under 21 debutant Harry Lewis was keeping Southampton in it, getting down well to keep Iheanacho from getting City a third. The defining moment of the game, however, came with just five minutes left on the clock. Jake Heskiff's shot from the edge of the box was saved well by a diving gun in goal, and straight from his goal kick, City got their third. Gunn's ball bounced awkwardly over the Saints' defence, and Ian Atro lifted the ball over the onrushing Lewis towards the Saints' net. Willwood did well to get back and clear his shot off the line, but Patrick Roberts couldn't miss when presented with the opportunity. 3-1 and Southampton under 21's end 2015 on a disappointing note. Afterwards, we caught up with assistant on 21 coach Raddy Jaidi, who gave us his thoughts. It is a little bit frustrating regarding you know the uh, the three goals we concede, uh, especially the first two goals early in the game, and that kept us you know trying to catch on on the score you know all game. Uh, but uh, I tell you what, the second half was really a good performance. Uh, credit to the boys, they worked really well. But you know. Little details made the difference, especially you know, um, especially the chances we had. You had your great chances. Credit to that goalkeeper as well. I think he, he did really well. You know, uh, saving three or four clear chances, and that's you know, when you lo when you miss chances, you concede goals. Even thought uh, it was a kind of a, a sloppy goal. You shouldn't concede that. Uh, I, I didn't see it yet, but hopefully. Um, 
I'll see it uh, on the way back and then uh, I'll have my thought around uh, the goals we concede.